Oh my! Information you need, and there's Kai Soto. Put a lid on it, Kai Soto. To run into inbound, Brown has had a big fourth quarter. Yeah, up and going. Maybe an M1 potentially doesn't get it to go on Foxwell. Good take. Chance to get them within five. There's plenty of time left on the clock. Both teams running a lot of the bench units. Foxwell with a chance to make it a five point game. Does. There he is on the defensive end, and that's the sort of stuff that Simon Mitchell loves from this young man. No doubt. He's not shy of any moment. Might be small in stature, but he makes up for it with his confidence and the way he plays. It's going to be another turnover. Phoenix ball. That turned things up a notch. CJ Bruton would not be happy with this, and this is what we spoke also about how crucial it is for these bench minutes. There is not going to be that many minutes to throw around to the Adelaide 36ers. Randall, Franks, Johnson, McCarron, and Cleveland as their starting five. On any other team, you could make a case for them to play 35 plus. And then you have Sunday Dench, who's going to be instrumental for their success. And Anthony Drimmick. Galloway, who's taking strides year on year. Soto. Kai Soto, they're going to want to play him some significant minutes to help him grow and be show what he can do, on, especially on a defensive end. We have seen history has shown us in the past that that can become a bit of an issue. Yeah. Oh, okay, how do we keep everybody happy but also everybody's roll clarity as clear as possible? We saw the real good side of it early in this game and it's something that it comes with playing. Comes spending a lot of time with each other, which is another reason why the Blitz is so elite if it's not in your home state when you get to go live on the road. You're on the road for a week plus, everything you're doing is faster than it can be. You get to just spend that time and bond because all of that, all that chemistry on court, starts well before the ball is thrown up on court. Five points the difference. Williams, the turnaround doesn't go. His hands for Nick Marshall. He's just gone up a notch in these last few minutes. A coup we haven't seen a lot of tonight. Kicks it back out for Johnson for three. Daniel Johnson, he is no stranger to that. Just his first three-point attempt of the night. And it was nothing but net. Just rolls into that three. A little more comfortable margin now for the 36ers. Boxwell lost the handle. Adelaide has got the out number up ahead. Randall into the corner. Cash that. Struggle to hit the open ones. Craig Randall. Needs a head in the face. He's one of those players that you think needs to either get a real quick shot or heavily contested. Oh, Williams will foul out of another game. I know he's lasted 15 minutes on court for his 13 points and seven rebounds, three on the offensive end. He's out of another game. It'll be frustrating. This will be something for Simon Mitchell. You don't want to go down the deja vu path. They've had this issue in the past with big men coming in and racking up plenty of fouls. You have to learn quick the preseason's great for. It's so important to them as well, Pete, isn't it? That, needless to say, that they can't afford to not have him out there. Late whistle. All on on Foxwell. Kuth. There's a lot of great stories leading into NBL 23. Denny Kuth is a really good one as well. Back in the NBL, spent some time with the Phoenix in 2020 and played six games with Sydney Kings. Played with the Knox Raiders in the offseason in NBL 1. Look at the tools. 
be able to do so. It's just his length and athleticism. Defensive end. Go down. He's just making some plays happen. Nathano. Nathano doing what he does best <laughs> on the offensive end. Game for no down for a solid four offensive rebounds every single night. He that, plays. That was his fourth. There you go. Promise I wasn't looking at the stat sheet. That's just what he does. Just has a knack of getting on the offensive glass. Eight point lead in the 36ers. Brown for three. Fouled by Marshall. Three free throws coming for the Puerto Rican. Nine points in the 3 of 16 from the field, so he hasn't been shot. But I tell you what, those three yeah. field goals have all been absolute highlights. <laughs> the sham dot, the out in transition, and the fadeaway three heading towards the the bench. The sham god's doing some getting a lot of love on, on oh, Twitter right now. Oh, it should. Highlight back myself of that sham god and did you? That is uh, all, all sorts of tomato saucy. In this game, Johnson's still out there. Mitch McCarron has just checked back into the game. CJ Bruton said, "Okay, too close for comfort. Get our leader back out there just to put this one to bed." Bit of match simulation, last two minutes. He's got 10 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Mitch McCarron, doing a bit of everything. As a team, they have 12 steals on the night. Three each to Franks and Cleveland. Of 20 turnovers from the Phoenix. One of three. Oh, Foxwell, excellent. Brown, like a tightrope walker along the sideline. It's a wild three. That won't be counting. Minute 55 left. Marshall adds in two more. Another one we speak about. Boxer not being shy at the moment. Nick Marshall, just seems to be more in 36 of Jersey. Playing with supreme confidence. Nick Boxer on cue. Knock that one down and 36 ers are off to the races. McCarron, one end of the other. Aaron turning back the clock. Just thought he was a two foot jumper. Yeah, still got some springs off the, off the left. Back to back buckets. The 36 ers little glimpse of what they can do defensively. Oh, well, that's been the key. When they've really turned it up defensively and they get out on the break, that looked unstoppable. There's no doubt about that because you've got athletes like Frank and Cleveland and Randall who can get above the rim. And you've got shooters and trail big shooters who are maybe a bit slower to get down the floor, but if the defense has to find the athletes out, then Robert Franks and Daniel Johnson are going to walk into a lot of trail threes. CJ Bruton in the background there. Looking pretty relaxed this game. Just about taken care of now. Brown's had some struggles from the free throw line. Oh, struggles from the field. Sorry, Brown. Three of 17. Three of seven. On the free throw line. Also into the game gets a late score. 36 is we're pretty happy with that. Really good job, as we mentioned, the Phoenix just hanging around. This looked like it could have got really ugly in the third quarter. The promising sign. Let's see go pretty little bit. Craig Randall out here in the fourth. Maybe just to find his touch, really get him feeling good about himself for the games to come. Good hands, obviously, by Foxwell. 
Says Hedo foul. Uh, I'll tell you what, that's probably a prime example of what I thought with the rule change with the straight verticality from Hiram Harris. He may have come down after that he was hit, which is always going to be the tough part. We're going to reward verticality. You want to jump straight up and get test an athlete going up towards the hoop. Reward that part of you staying in the cylinder, but if that contact on your body forces you to come down with your arms on hack or something in the air, it's always still going to be a foul. Zeto goes one of two. Karen's been excellent. So he's trying to fill it up with a late one. Adelaide 36 is going to chalk up a victory on opening night here at the NBL Blitz. Well, both teams showed signs throughout this whole game. Just so good to have NBL back. Nice little teaser to what we're in for, especially this week. Double headers now every night of the week, leading up to next Friday. They let it. In.